Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. Let's continue the MS Excel tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to fill a combo box by rows from a worksheet in user form VBA code. So let's start the user form tutorials. Now here we got the final output. Now let's check. Now it is an employee number, employee name and salary. We got all the rows employee number employee name and salary if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates and notice on my excel sheet contains some employee details employee number employee name and salary just for the time saving i have added some demo records now my aim is creating a user form i want to display only the rows particular rows i want to display so for that, in order to create a user form, we require the developer option in our menu. Click the developer. Under developer, click the visual basic. Now we can able to create the user form. To create a user form, go to insert user form. Here we got the user form. Now let me expand this user form. Now we'll add one combo box to this user form. Now my aim is I want to add only the rows, not the columns. Usually, we'll uh, bind, populate the column columns to the combo box, but I want to populate the rows. So, select the user form, right click the mouse, go to view code, and the user form, I need the initialize event not the user form click event just delete this default click event in the user form initialize combo box one dot list is equals to range in the range i'm adding a1 column what are the cells we have a1 to c1 a1 to c1 dot value dot value now let's check the output and notice what's the output we got we got only the employee number but the range we have given a1 to c1 what we'll do is we'll add the column count we'll add the column count of the combo box combo box one dot column count is equals to three now run this application and notice we've got three rows employee number employee name and salary but it's displaying in the horizontal way i want to display in a vertical way employee number after that employee name and salary so for that the code is let's delete this one we don't require this one here we need to transpose the range for that application dot transpose transpose method transpose is it spelling is correct that's it now let's check the output now here we got the final output now let's check now it is a employee number, employee name and salary. We got all the rows. Employee number, employee name and salary from this table. So in this video tutorial, I have explained how to fill data, the rows from an Excel sheet in user form using VBA code. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel and catch you in my next video tutorial.